Hello, and Brick me here with a look at my RC mod of the LEGO Technic Heavy Duty Tow Truck 42128. It was really fun to modify, and I will explain exactly how you can do a similar modification on your tow truck. But before we begin, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an awesome online learning platform with thousands of amazing classes. Skillshare actually has LEGO related classes like learning to make stop motion LEGO movies, creating the perfect LEGO model in SolidWorks, or even selling LEGO on eBay. One class that really inspired me is called Lifestyle Photography Everyday Storytelling in Photo and Print by Dan Rubin, and my biggest takeaway from this class is using certain editing techniques to really make your photo look the way you want to. You can use such techniques to make your own LEGO LEGO photos, just like the ones you see advertised on the LEGO website itself. You can have a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium as long as you're one of the first 1000 people to sign up using my special link provided in both the pinned comment as well as the description of this video. So let's take a look at where the motors are placed, so that way you can get an idea of how to modify the tow truck. At the bottom here I removed a bunch of support frames which are connected to the drivetrain with a gear ratio of 16 to 20. This setup optimizes torque and for such a truck, especially if you want to control it while it's also towing something else, torque is crucial. I did not disconnect the drivetrain from the engine, in fact, the main axle still runs to the engine, meaning the motor's power not only powers the wheels, but also the six-cylinder inline engine. Now you may be asking, how is the steering done in this car? Well, I basically took one boost medium motor, which has a rotation sensor, and connected it to the same axle which was originally connected to the hand of god knob. The knob is still kept there for aesthetics, since I wanted the tow truck to look as much as possible as the original version, so it serves no practical purpose. All of the original mechanical and pneumatic functions still work and are still controlled by the exact same knobs. I only slightly rebuilt the connection between the front cabin and the back, so everything else still works. The control plus hub is right over here behind the crane. I didn't really connect it securely since I want to have easy access to the batteries whenever they run out. Since the mod uses three motors leaving an extra port on the hub, if you have a pair of the powered up lights, you can definitely add it to the tow truck. If you love LEGO Technic and you want to uncover all its secrets, then make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn about the rarest motors, gears, upcoming sets, and so much more. No pressure though no pressure. The powered up control interface itself is incredibly simple, it's just a two slider control, the throttle is on the left while the steering is on the right. I greatly prefer this setup over the many times we have gotten the throttle on the right with official control plus sets. So as long as you copy this code and your modification is similar to mine, you should be all good. I also have a more complex code which is now seen in the screen and it basically allows you to have steering adjustment values. So if your tow truck veers to the right, you can adjust the steering like in many other RC hobby cars. Please let me know what you think of my RC mod of the LEGO Technic Heavy DD tow truck. Will you be modifying yours or do you prefer the default configuration? If you'd like to learn how to modify the Jeep Wrangler or the Ferrari, then click on one of these videos right over here. This is your Unbreaking here and I'll see you in the next one.